we have Alex Morgan and Amir Ali here. They're each going to give a quick statement about tonight's match and the home opener, and then we'll take some questions. Do you want to go first, Alex? Sure. Um, I think it was a pretty good first game to start off season. Uh, we're so happy with the win, but the crowd really brought so much energy. Um, some individuals really shined. I mean, Amira has been great all preseason, so just seeing her get a goal was so deserving. And just getting a win at the end of the game, I felt like um, we were the better team today, but we kind of were a little sloppy here and there, so I'm glad we were able to clean it up and um, and get that, that final goal to win it. Um, so just proud of the team overall. Yeah, I mean, it was um, a scrappy game here and there, um, but essentially we just uh, brought it us all in together and recognized that we have a goal here. We had 30,000 plus people here behind us and um, it's just a testament to how much we really want this and Alex coming in with so much pressure that in the end of the final minutes of the game, but still putting away for the win. So just proud of us all together. Hi, congratulations to both of you on the first win here in the first game of the season at home. Uh, what can you speak about this preseason where, obviously, Morgan, you came over uh, after international break and saw this group that was starting up already. What did you see in that group that solidified themselves and then you just were able to come in and uh, just add to that? Yeah, I think uh, last preseason it was very much getting to know each other, um, people on different uh, different like pages with their fitness level, with you know where they were in the off season, where they came from. So this preseason, we all came together, really fit, um, feeling good, um, didn't have to start from scratch. So I think that that already was um, was a step up from last year, and um, I feel like everyone came in really hungry, ready to work. Um, we got some added pieces as well, which. Um, you saw with Danny and, and Maggie um, out there tonight uh, and a couple other players, but um, it just, you know, I think that everyone was, was ready to get to work. It was a long preseason, so um, you could tell that everyone was excited to play in front of this crowd tonight. Any other questions? Jackie? Uh, this is for either of you, but just with obviously setting some NBA self attendance records, uh, how would you just describe how you've seen San Diego show up um, just in and out from the end of last year, of course, into the season? Um, I think, you know, from the beginning, San Diego has been showing up through and through. Um, in Torero, we would sell it out every single time, um, and nothing changed when we changed from 50 to 5,000 to 30,000 seats. So I think it's just a testament to the people in this community. They're behind us, and we want to work hard for them, and uh, they come through every time, and we really appreciate that. Being the champions, champions goal, goal, uh, goal scorer, uh, this first goal, uh, what, what does it mean for you in order to win another uh, golden boot? Golden yeah. Another, sorry, another what? Golden boot. Oh, um, I mean, honestly, I, last year it was both good on the team side and individual side um, for myself, but I feel like you know, this year all I want is for our team to win the Shield, to get into playoffs, to um, to go all the way. And so if that means, um, you know, getting a lot of goals in again, then I'm happy to do that. But I think we'll see a lot more players getting um, a lot of goals this year as well, one being Amira. Ladies, congratulations. And be proud again in the environment. Incredible. How do you feel? I'm sorry? How do you feel with the environment, the fans, the crowd? Um, it feels great. I mean, it puts a fire under you for sure. Um, just knowing you have that huge crowd, everyone's always cheering so loud. I mean, sometimes you can't hear anything, can you hear our teammates? But I love that much love that we get from the people of this community, um, our fans. And um, yeah, it just keeps me very excited. Um, it keeps you wanting more, wanting to keep going, and just playing for our teammates as well. Just the crowd really pushes you forward. Yeah, I agree. It's like our 12th man. It's um, it's electric, and I feel like it it just helps keep momentum on our side. So it's it's been amazing to see San Diego really rise up for the scene. Had some new players on the team today make their debuts. Maggie and Danny. How do you guys think they played and meshed well with the squad today? I mean, I thought that they did great. You know, they were stars for their teams last year and they come in and they fit in right away and they um, they did extremely well uh, they've shown that all preseason 
Um, we have some other players that, that didn't quite get in that um, we added this year as well, but um, it's just adding depth to our team. I, I think that we've only built um, from last year and gone up and got stronger, and, and those are some important pieces to us moving forward. I mean, you wrapped up preseason scoring two against Angel City, and you open up the season scoring the first goal here. What can you tell us about your game right now and what's going well for you? Um, I think just different from last year. I'm just coming in with a different mindset, more fit. Um, really listening to the veterans of the team. Alex has really been helping me, and I just feel like it's more so loosening up as well. Um, my first year last year, I think I was a little bit tense and nervous here and there, but knowing that I had people in my corner um, you know, pushing me through. I think that um, it really makes a difference, and um, it's showing a lot this year. Yeah. Last question, Steph Young. Oh, thanks. Uh, this is a question for both of you. But Alex, at the end of the game, you were you know talking to Jackie and Jordan about playing against Chicago and their three back, and how it allowed you to have numbers up in certain areas. Just wondering how you felt the team adjusted from looking maybe a little narrower in the first half, but over the first and second halves to you know dealing with that and taking advantage of the spaces that you had yeah definitely we uh we changed our formation a little bit to get that width because we weren't really exposing them in the spaces that we could have in the first half but that left us a little bit more vulnerable i'd say to the um to the switch and then playing into the mid into the midfield um in the second half uh, but we got a lot more crosses, I think, in the second half. Um, had some more opportunities, dangerous opportunities in the second half. And I, I think that it helped us. So, um, yeah, Chicago's going to – they're going to leave, you know, three, two in the back sometimes, and, and we know that. Um, but they can also just go elicit a mal and, and be extremely dangerous. So um, it, goes, it goes on both sides. So uh, we're lucky to get – get that third goal for sure, but I, I feel like we can tighten tighten it up, the lines up a little bit more next time we play Chicago and expose them a little bit more um, when they're left vulnerable in the back line. Thank you guys. Thank you to Alex and Amira, and we'll have Casey Stoney here shortly. Thank you guys. Okay guys, Casey's gonna give a statement on tonight's home opener and the result, and then we'll take some questions and open up the floor. Yeah, I think if we're really honest, we weren't at our best tonight, but I think I'm glad this is out of the way. It's such a long build-up to the opening game, and obviously we knew there'd be a fantastic crowd. Um, but sometimes you've got to find a way to win, um, and we did that. A um, little bit of adversity in the game, um, but we don't like to do things easy, but I'm immensely proud of the players. They've put an absolute shift in tonight to, to get a win. Um, I'll review how I set them up in the first half because I don't think I gave them enough of a chance to be successful and I thought the second half we were much better. Uh, so congr congratulations again for that first win. Uh, in that first half you were speaking about it, but uh, the team was showing resilience, building momentum, and then you get, you get scored on. But they kept pressing your team and then they got two goals in a quick succession as reward. Is this what we can expect from the San Diego Wave team moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. We're a team that's never beaten. Uh, we're a team that always wants to win. I think we're hungry for that, that three points every time we step out there and proud of the team's reaction. You know, I thought... You know, we, we needed to we needed to keep the ball for longer periods to build a little bit more momentum, um, and they, they obviously score from the set piece, so that's disappointing. We need to review that, uh, but we go and we get a goal back, and you know I think we actually created some really positive moments after that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm obviously massively pleased. The ultimate is the three points. Uh, Casey, it speaks volumes when you're starting front three score in the same game. So what can you tell us about? how well they played together and moving forward in the season, how maybe there'll be a danger this season? Well, I think what we said at the beginning was we wanted, obviously, more players to contribute goals. Um, it's great that Alex scored again, uh, but the fact that Jade and Amira have got on the score sheet as well is really pleasing. And three very different goals, you know, so um, we just need to build on that. We've also got players that, you know, came off the bench tonight and made a huge difference um, in terms of changing the momentum of the game. And so... I've, I'm very privileged to have the, the squad that I've got. We just need to keep building and, you know, I'd like us to be better in possession. I thought we, we were a little bit sloppy tonight and too many turnovers, which invited them to have momentum. But like I said, three goals, three points. 80 minutes of game time for Colaprico tonight. How does she look in their system today? 
Yeah, Danny looked good. Like I think she solved pressure really well. Um, I think we can give her the ball more um, and, and obviously build through her. We still need to do a, a bit of work defensively on the way we play as a team. Uh, but you know, she's been in now for what seven weeks, so it's going to take time to build those relationships. But I was really pleased with her performance. Um, she started to cramp, so that was the reason she she came off. Um, so yeah, I think it's a, a performance definitely to build on. Jess. Uh, Casey, it looked like Jaden had more of a free role, maybe she was popping inside a lot centrally. Uh, was that intentional? Was that with purpose? Yeah, we tried to play with almost like a box midfield, so like two tens, um, just to get Jaden inside the pitch. And Jaden's ability to pick the ball up and play through balls um, is something we looked at. Um, so yeah, it was it was intentional, and I think it would benefit from her coming in and, and, and finishing, you know, in terms of those areas. So. She's a, a wonderful young talent uh, with a very, very high ceiling. If I could follow, did, did that um, influence Jody Howard being in that area as well instead of Cornyak? Yeah, I, I well, Maggie could only probably play 45 because she's been carrying a little bit of an injury and I always have to weigh up as a coach. If I don't start her and I bring her on and she breaks down, then I could have a problem. So and it was nothing to do with Taylor's form. Um, it was the fact that... You know, I knew that I was asking a lot from those players defensively so they wouldn't last the whole game and, and it was a risky reward. If I knew that I could get that amount out maybe and then I could bring Taylor on and she gives us a different dynamic in the second half too. Uh, coach, you definitely are making San Diego Soccer City. <laughs> what can you say about the crowd, the records, every, every game? Unbelievable. What a city, what a fan base. You know, and hopefully we can continue to grow and, and give this city a team to be immensely proud of and you know that's what I said to the players today you know, go out there and entertain I think we can entertain more but I think we can be very proud of the players and their resilience and, and the fight that they show and with your experience how far are San Diego from that kind of cities like Manchester etc yeah obviously it's difficult Manchester United have got immense history so they draw those crowds through their history but we're a year old and we're able to do that you know and, and the fans were incredible and they kind of sucked the ball into the net for us tonight, and I think they were our, our 12th player out there getting us over the line. Thank you. Uh, hey, Casey, congratulations on the win. Uh, Amira was talking about how she felt like she was loosening up and kind of just adjusting more in her role. As a coach, Like, what kind of standard or mindset do you hope to really um, like have for this team as far as the standard that you want to set? We want to be the best. You know, but we're also in our second year, so I have to be patient. I think we have to be patient as a club, and our fan base have to be patient. Um, but you look at Amira last year, and like she's like a new player for us. The fact that she's going out there playing 60, 70 minutes, you know, wasn't possible last year. Um, her ability with the ball at her feet is very, very special. The way she can turn and move and manoeuvre, and obviously she's she's uh, she's got such bright movement as well. So. Yeah, another player with a huge ceiling and just a player I'm excited to see grow and, and work with over the next few years. Steph Young. Yep, thanks. Uh, Coach, you and Alex both now have talked about how maybe the setup in the first half didn't quite allow you to exploit the space that Chicago gave you in their formation, especially with three in the back. Um, I'm just wondering if you could give us a little bit more on how you feel the team adjusted in the second half and you know, how much of it is like, you know, it's just, it's literally your first game. So, you know, later in the season, maybe that tightens up a little more. Yeah, I think an element, element was the system, definitely. Um, and that's on me, you know, we, we, we wanted to come inside to create the spaces down the sides, especially to get our forwards down the sides and we were gonna rotate our tens out wide and do that. And we just didn't keep possession long, long enough for us to enable us to be able to do that. We had too many turnovers, too many technical errors. Chicago pressed us quite high and panicked us a little bit. And I. I thought we could have gone a little bit more direct at times because we had four against three against their bat line. Um, so we need to kind of see those numerical advantages and play them. But yeah, element of first game, I think there was some nerves out there, big crowd, etc. Some partnerships still forming. Um, but yeah, absolutely the system, which is my responsibility to fix and make sure that um, you know I make that better in terms of my assessment of the game moving forward. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thank you, Casey, and thank you, everyone, for coming. I'll escort everyone back to the press box or the gate. Thank you.